Top 5 Mysterious Creatures You Won't Believe Existed Researchers capture incredible footage of alien-looking animals and strange new species lurking in the deep every year. Weird creatures and monsters always fascinate humans, the more bizarre, the better. But what could have happened to you if you had been alive a hundred million years ago? You would have spent days in terror and nights in horror, hiding from predators who were five feet taller than you. Consider yourself lucky that you didn't encounter these predators who would tear you into pieces. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Will I Survived? Here are the top 5 mysterious creatures you won't believe existed. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content. Without further ado, let's begin the video. Angirocastus benmule. Angirocastus benmule was one of the biggest arthropods that ever lived. Angirocastus was found in southeastern Morocco 480 million years ago. Angirocastus attained an ultimate size of 7 feet. It had modified legs, gills on its back, and a filter system for feeding. It got two sets of swimming flaps along the trunk and two branched limbs. Azurocassis fossils were discovered a few years ago, and research showed that this extinct creature looked remarkably terrifying. Arthropods were the unanimous species-rich, morphologically miscellaneous, and successful animal group on Earth, including familiar creatures such as butterflies, lobsters, horseshoe crabs, scorpions, beetles, and ants. Angiorocasis benmule was the largest known radiodont animal in this period. The fossil was preserved with exceptional three-dimensional detail, unlike most other radiodont fossils in which the animals are flattened. The quality of three-dimensional preservation has shed light on the nature of radiodont trunk flaps. Each trunk segment of the benmule specimen has both a ventral and a dorsal pair of flaps. Are you wondering what would have happened if you existed at that time? Yes, you're right. These mighty creatures would have killed you. Platybelodon genus. Platybelodon was discovered in the 1920s. The scary phase herbivore mammal was related to the elephant. They lived in the Middle Miocene epoch in Africa, Asia, and the Caucasus. Platybelodon was a huge elephant with a unique extending jaw consisting of a pair of wide, flattened tusks. Its lower incisors were supposed to function to spade, scoop, and excavate vegetation in the aquatic environment. Their teeth were specialized, feeding on a specific range of plants. Those incisors were sharp enough to cut thorny vegetation. The platybelodon had more than 15 species, which reached the peak of expansion of these lower tusks. Four to five more types of animals were present at that time, and it was hard to search for food with so many rivals. Scientists believe this creepy-faced mammal went extinct due to weather conditions. Maybe it was due to severe rains or drought that they lost food in a place to live and were washed off the face of the earth. Platybelodon genus wandered around Miocene Asia, Africa, and North America, stifling vegetation like some sort of peasant only without all the pesky class struggles. And it was just one of a horde of similar animals in the family Gomphotheridae, all with modified lower tusks of varying styles. The Platybelodon genus had radically flattened teeth, suggesting a strong selection for specialized feeding on a particular range of plants, which was crucial given that for much of the Miocene, there were often three to five or more genera of proboscideans occurring in the same landscape, competing for forage. Manipulator Modifiputus I'm sure you're feeling lucky that you weren't there a million years ago when deadly cockroaches were roaming around the Earth. Modificaputus was a little cretaceous critter, a predatory cockroach that possessed a range of characteristics like an insect chimera. Modificaputus was one centimeter in length. It had a triangular-shaped head, stretched out legs, and mouthparts. Manipulator Modificaputus represented the first cockroach family to be reported from Burmese amber. It resembled a crane fly and grass prey using its modified front legs that were covered with strong spines. Modificaputus was known as a stalking predator. It chased its prey in the night and tore it ferociously into pieces. Scientists have discovered this terrifying ancient cockroach that hunted in the dead of night. A 100 million year old pursuit predator was found encased in amber, perfectly preserved except for a few battle scars it may have sustained in a fight with its prey. Luckily for the dinosaurs, it lived alongside them. This killer creepy crawly wasn't big enough to do them any serious harm. But it would have been able to give unwary humans a nasty nip had it survived to the modern day. The Manipulator Modificaputus insect is one of only a handful of hunter cockroaches that have existed throughout history and the only pursuit predator known to science. Manipulator Modificaputus had a protruding neck, allowed its head to rotate and track its victims, and was an active runner with elongated extremities including long legs to chase down prey. Luckily, this nightmare of the prehistoric world is well and truly extinct. Modern cockroaches are generally scavengers who feast on the waste left behind by other species. Hallucigenia The fossil Hallucigenia was found in the Burgess Shale in the Canadian Rockies in 1911 by Charles Dolittle Walcott. Hallucigenia 
The Cambrian Lobopodian worm is believed to be an ancestor of the velvet worm or an arthropod. Hallucigenia was 0.5 inches in size and could grow up to 1.4 inches. These animals sported plates and spines on their backs. It had eight pairs of thin legs, claws, an elongated head, and tentacles used for feeding. This animal was way scarier than one could even imagine. The latest model for the creature includes a ring of teeth around its mouth, a pair of eyes, and a four-vet line with teeth. One side of its thin, tube-like body was covered in pairs of enormous spines, while flimsy, stick-like clawed appendages dangled from its other side. There has been a lot of ambiguity as to which end was the head and which end was the tail. New specimens unearthed from the Burgess Shale in Canada have revealed the creature in its entirety. By delicately chipping away at the rocks, scientists found the smooth-shaped head with some surprising features. Inside the creature's mouth, the researchers found a ring of teeth and another set of teeth running from its throat down toward its stomach. The scientists believed hallucigenia used its odd mouth arrangement to suck up food and then move it down to its gut. Hallucigenia is helping them to learn more about the Cambrian period, a time when life exploded into a rich array of forms, and how it then settled back into the more normal-looking creatures we see today. Before we proceed to the last, most terrifying, mysterious creature down below, here are the honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Japanese spider crab, Macrochera camphorae. Anglerfish, Lophiforms. Blobfish, Cycroloops marsitis. Pseudopulex fleas. Pseudopulex is a genus of extinct, flea-like parasitic insects that once fed on dinosaurs or pterosaurs 165 million years ago. It was 10 times bigger than today's fleas. The bite of this oversized parasite was likely to be a throbbing one. It would have felt like a thin needle going inside your body. These scary ancient fleas were hideous, and possibly the first bloodsuckers in their family. Sugopulex fleas had a large beak that looked like a needle or siren, springy legs, and a thick, elongated mouth. They likely feasted on giant, thick-skinned animals rather than small animals. These fleas could not jump like today's fleas, but they did run a little. We're lucky enough that these fleas don't exist anymore. While these parasites show similar characteristics to modern fleas, they also show major differences in body morphology and size due to the significant difference in the host, such as more flattened bodies and more extended claws. They also possessed serrated stylets, likely for feeding on blood through thick layers of skin. Moreover, these organisms are likely to be about 50 times larger than the dog flea. It is reported that the puncture of this parasite is compared to a hypodermic needle injection for these giant dinosaurs. A better understanding of these prehistoric fleas can contribute to research into events such as the breakdown of Mesozoic biodiversity and the ancient food chain. Furthermore, the method by which ectoparasites switch from solely infecting mammals to being hosted by birds can provide insights into parasitic evolution. The Pseudopulex phylum displays the tremendous diversity present even millions of years ago, along with host interactions that further aid in the study of ectoparasite evolution in today's world, giving novel insight into evolution, ecology, and host-parasite interactions that can be applied to modern-day ectoparasites. I am sure this video has given you chills and made you feel that life hundreds of years ago was pretty tricky, when humans didn't have to find newer ways to build their places and find food but also had to fight these gigantic animals to survive. That's a wrap for today. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the channel to see our latest content. Comment down below and tell us which creature you found the scariest.